Hello there, Dollar Tree friends, and welcome to my video. I am Mickey B. Have we met? If not, it's nice to meet you, and if we have, it's always good to see you again. Today, I'm here with a Dollar Tree haul. I haven't had time to do one of these in a long time because I'm not doing Vlogmas, I'm doing Jobmas. That means I get up every day and go to work to a nine to five job. So in between, I'm trying to get all of my YouTube stuff done and I have been collecting a lot of things, especially for Christmas, to show and share with you guys. So let's just jump right into it because I will be so upset if I don't get to show you this before Christmas comes because it is literally right around the corner. So without further ado, let's jump right into all of these goodies so that maybe you guys can be on the lookout if this is something that you're looking for. So the first thing I want to show, share with you is this four set of Santa Claus cups. And these go with the big bucket that I have shown you before. So I think it would make a great gift set uh, to add these cups, maybe some milk, some cereal, like a good morning breakfast, you know, outside of the whole pancake thing that I see a lot of people do. If you guys know me and you know my gift ideas videos, I like to think outside of the box and I don't like to do what everybody else is doing. So I like to try and give you something different. Um, the other thing I want to share with you are these, um, would you call these a wine goblet? I don't really drink wine or alcohol. So for me, it would just be a punch or a soda or an orange juice acrylic glass but in the shape well in the shape of I guess a wine glass but held up by reindeers and their antlers I thought these were different this was something new that the that uh, the Dollar Tree has put out to go along with a lot of the clear ornaments that I've been seeing as well I also found these and I have a lot of stuff to share with you so I'm going to try and move as quickly as possible they have these cute little tins that say holiday cheer, Christmas wishes, uh, season's greetings. I got this ring light because it's dark. So hopefully the glare isn't preventing you from seeing it, but they had this design. And then they also had this design that says, believe in the magic of Christmas. I get it close enough, hopefully you can see it. Sorry about the glare. Gotta do what you gotta do. This one says peace and joy. This is nice with the three Christmas trees. And then the last one is joy to the world. And all of these tins have the same saying on both sides. So that's nice as well. Um, they, I like tins and little items where you can put things in because it just makes putting a gift together that much easier. And here are some other ones that I found as well. This is a little reindeer tin. Does it say something? No, it's just a snowflake on his ear. So there's the reindeer. And then there is, did I get any more? Oh, here we go. Here's a snowman. And so for now, <laughs> I've got the reindeer and the snowman. They had a Santa and I believe an elf, which I know I did not get the Santa or the elf, but they did have other options in those tins. And then they had these cute, just red and white ones, red and white stripe. And then just, a, this kind of looks like a Santa hat idea. Um, they had cute plushies this year. We have this melted looking snowman kind of different for a plush because it's so wide and flat but I guess the idea is supposed to be a melting snowman however they do have a reindeer and I believe also a Santa as well and we know those things don't melt so I don't know what to say on that I bought some Christmas cards because I had an idea to uh use these for which i haven't gotten around to but the idea that i had this is a great um pattern of a card to do this was a great option as far as the look of the card and then the other one in case i wanted to switch that my idea is i could use this one as well and it says seasoned greetings i'm trying to keep the glare off for you 
You know, I like to get close so you can see the detail with the ring lights really making me, making me work today. Now, here we have some gift bags, a set of 25 piece set. This is a nice blue color thing. And get close at an angle that can knock off some of the glare for you so you can see what they say. And I hope this isn't coming across backwards for you because it is on my screen. And I'm hoping that you're able to read these properly and not seeing it backwards. Here's another package that has 25 pieces in it. And this is more of a, a red, green, and gold thing. Some plaid in there. So two different um, themes and color schemes. They had more of these, but these were the two that caught my eye. Next, I bought these mini bell garlands. And this is silver bells. They had green and red, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure I had them in one of my walkthrough videos. They have this red truck ribbon. This is the wired ribbon. And this one um, in here is what you get. Again, I hope you guys are seeing this straight because I'm seeing it backwards unless I read it to you. Then I found some, now a lot of these things are good for wrapping um, presents. So this isn't necessarily, I'm not doing a Christmas village, but I like the little figurines because they're cute, small little things to add to gifts and to, you know, just make things more decorative. But I don't do the Christmas village. I don't have time for stuff like that, even though I think it's fun. Here's another ribbon. This is the gnome ribbon. You see it upside down or right side up for you. So that's what this ribbon looks like. And you know, gnome, they're pushing gnomes on everybody. So I had to break down and get some. Speaking of which, I got this gnome mug. And I thought this was, was a cute little mug. And gnomes are pretty much like Santa to me. So, so similar, so close. Um, they had these large berries, 16 piece. So if you're making a wreath or any type of crafts that you need to use these for or anything that would require a hint of red, that would be good to have. Then I got this uh, garland, this little mini garland. Normally you get this to decorate your Christmas tree. Um, it says 20 feet. So I got this to decorate, to use for Christmas decorations, but I didn't put up a tree tree this year, but I did put up something that looks like a tree and I needed the red version of that garland to use for it. Then they have these fun crafts, and these are uh, little finger puppets set here. Let's see. Well, you can make those five little animals, and they give you all the pieces in which to do so. So I got some of those to do. And then they had a lot of cute picks, these snowman picks. These are great for gift baskets, for Christmas trees, or just putting on gift wrap if you're just wrapping up something and you need something festive to bring that Christmas flair to it. They had the gnomes as well. These came out in my stores after everything had gone up to $1.25. So I wasn't able to get these gnome picks for a dollar, but you know, that's okay. The 25 cents is still a great deal. So I got this version as well. And then the last set of gnome picks I got were these gray hats. And then the other, well, the last, last set of picks that I got overall were these snowmen. These came out first, so I was able to get these for a dollar. And I think these are all really, really cute items to use for gift bags, gift wrap, you name it. The sky's the limit. Then they had this, uh, another finger puppet set with these five characters. So I'll put the two together so you can see um, the difference. So those are the 10 characters that you can make with these two uh, finger puppet sets. And I thought that would be great if you have little kids around something to keep them busy and excited about the holidays. Here is the last tin can that I wanted to show you. And this is larger than the other ones. They're all different sizes, but to just give you a perspective on what these look like. This one you can put in a little bit more 
and it has the holly and the Santa look to it as well. Now these, just be careful when you buy these because I got two of them here. And if you see that strip of paint looks like somebody did it at the store <laughs> and they all look like that. I don't know if you see them in your area that that strip, that white strip of paint looks any better, but that looks suspect to me and it's like not even in the line. So I don't know if that is intentional, but it's definitely noticeable, but it's still a Q10 and can still, nobody will probably care about that too much. They have these cute spatula, this two piece spatula set, one with the gingerbread on it and the other one that says, what does this say? It says a Merry Christmas. No, have a have a cozy, comfy Christmas. And then they're short. They're a little. They're a mini set, so they're not the full size. So something perfect to stick in a gift basket if that's what you're doing. Um, and that's a perfect size to do with, to do that with. Oh, I did get another one of these, and this is a red and silver one. You guys know I'm more partial to silver versus gold. So this was the, the first, I mean, this was the first one and this was the second one. Are they the same? Nine feet, nine feet. This one looks like it's a, this one looks like it might be more. Maybe it's just a smaller circle, but they're both nine feet. So go figure it out. Um, next I purchased uh, some of these cute little, what are these called? Ornaments. Now these are perfect for hanging on uh, gifts as you gift wrap items. Of course you can use them as an ornament, but they're great danglers to double as uh, a gift wrap tag. And they just have the string in which to hang them from. So I got that gingerbread and the candy cane. And then they had this elf with a double candy cane. They had this snowman and a penguin. And these feel like they're made out of clay. Let me give you a close up so you can kind of see what the material is like. It feels like a clay uh, material to me, not ceramic, but more so. I think it's a clay. And then the last one, I believe, yeah, the last one is this gnome and another snowman design. So I'll just kind of run back by you again real quick so you can get a fresh look of the different ones. And then there you go. So three different candy cane options there. All so cute. That's the thing about Christmas. It's hard to not buy this stuff because it's so cute and festive. And if you're a sucker for cute like I am, then you're gonna be buying them. So here's another one, another one of the berries. Now this one is in addition to this one. These two were, these were the two options. This is the frosted and then this is the plain. And this one gives you 36 pieces versus 16 pieces and these are smaller so just to put those in perspective for you so of course you know i just get one of each why choose when you don't have to now these are also cute a lot of these things again i got to put on gifts not so much for ornaments they call them ornaments but these are cute little snowmen do they all say the same thing yeah they say warmest wishes so they're cute little wood grain kind of more of a natural uh earthy kind of a design and i like these and i, I normally uh, lean more towards snowmen because they're more general not everybody celebrates christmas so i always like to keep that in mind and i like to get sayings that are neutral like this one says merry and bright so these two were the two options Two snow this is a snowman no is this a snowman yeah it is so they're both snowman but two different options one with a hat and one with a santa hat okay so yeah so i got those again i love to hang things off and make stuff look festive and they're so perfect for those purposes this i got this green garland because it's always good i thought at one point i was going to put up a tree this year but time got away from me and I know that I would have needed this as a filler. So that's fine. I can always have it in my arsenal for next year. Didn't hurt to have it now, especially if things are gonna be going up anyways. Now this was cute and different. This uh, wine bottle bag, the red and black buffalo check. 
and then it comes with the tag and then the strings to close it. So that would make any wine bottle or any type of bottle gift look nice. It also came in white. So these were the two, red and white, red and black. No, red and black, black and white. <sighs> so anyways, also as I showed in one of my gift um, idea videos, these, you don't have to put uh, just bottles in here. You can put anything in here. You can put candies. You can get a bunch of like Lindor chocolates or take stuff out of their packaging and use these types of items to make it look more festive and more presentable and different, you know, different presentation. They had some new Santa hats this year. I was looking for this. I had a team call the other day and I wanted to come on festive because we were on our Microsoft Teams where everybody could see everybody. And I wanted to have my hat, but I hadn't hauled it yet. And I actually forgot that I had this here. But they had other designs, but I like how this feels. Look at the material, it's soft. It's soft and it looks like a sweater, but it doesn't feel like a sweater. I don't know what to call that, but it feels like it would be comfortable on my head. And I like just the different, um, design on it with the reindeers different from the regular red and black santa now here they had some mermaid stockings uh with the tail at the bottom and then the sequins that flip up let's see what are these flip to so these turn green so this one turns green or red and then it has that so that was different a mermaid Mermaid uh, stuff is really in these days, so there you go. Thought that was different, and look at this mermaid one. You guys know I like little mermaid type stuff. I've used, look at that, look at the opalescent. That one's pretty, and you see that hint of pink? You know that got my attention, the white tail. This is, of course, my favorite one, and it kind of looks like a fish, but that is so pretty, the way that uh, flips. And let me see if I did flip it down. Oh, and if I flip this one down, it goes to silver. But I would never do the silver on this one. I keep it at this white opalescent or pearlescence. I'm not sure what to call that. Pearlescence, opalescence, but you get the idea. It's beautiful. You don't even have to use this as a stocking. It's just so pretty on its own. Then this was a different hat as well. This was an elf hat. Also sequin that turns red or green. Um, some years you might not want to be a Santa, you might want to be an elf. So there's the green, there's the brim with the typical elf design, the jacket and then the bell on the end. So these are great to have, especially again, since things are going up, it's good to have in your arsenal all these different options. Um, I don't want this to fall, but I got couple of reindeer wood pieces to decorate and even though I'm a little late in the game I won't be putting this up I still want to paint it and decorate it because painting I find is very therapeutic and I enjoy it. it's very relaxing turn on some music get out the paint and be creative and that's what I want to do with these and maybe they'll be ready for next year. I'm okay with that too. Then the last signs or the last pieces of wood that I got are these, cause I try to buy signs. I change my signs throughout the holidays. So I got these little sled signs that say, let it snow. I like, again, the snowmen, the festive. I don't want everything to say Merry Christmas. Cause again, not everybody celebrates Christmas. So I am, always sensitive to that and snowmen are just fun and the snow and the christmas trees i mean that just is what christmas is to me that's my christmas aesthetic if you will snow snowman cold snow dripping off christmas trees etc so i am always uh inclined to buy items with that type of design thing now i got some more little um characters to use for gifts um, and then I got these two ornaments that also can be used for gift wrapping or a gift basket. Just a nice hint of something to put into a basket to make it more festive. And this is a pretty good size. Look how big that is. That's about as big as my hand. And then the other one uh, says, hello winter with a little penguin. Look at how big. So 
I'm with as big as my hand. So this is a great size. And when you're looking to give a gift and you want that hint of Christmas and festivity and color, that those are perfect for that. And then here's some more of those little figurines to use for the little villages. And then here's another one. And I've got one more here. Let's see. And I've got this last one. So there's Santa and the snowman and then a the little sign. So let me just go back and show you those real quick just in case I didn't get close enough for you to see. I wasn't really focusing. Okay. And then this one. Yeah, so let me get to my next basket and we'll continue. Okay, also I found this icicle fringe and this is a two-piece set that is 48 by 7 inches. So two pieces, so that's uh, 80, 48, 60, 96, is it 96 feet, I'm guessing? Yeah, I think it's 96 feet, 48, yeah. So anyways, this is pretty long. And this is something that if I, the next time I decorate, which will probably be next year, um, I would put this along my fireplace to make it look like snow, uh, you know, around the fireplace. But didn't get around to it this year, but I'll be prepared for next year. But great item to have for a dollar because again, all this stuff has now gone up to a buck 25 and I'm sure we're all aware of it. I saw this cute little craft. It is a reindeer pom-pom craft. And it looks like that once you complete it. It's just a little paper plate with a bunch of brown pom-poms. And then it just has everything for you to put it together. So my other thing is reindeer. Snowman and reindeer, I'm partial to those. Um, I got a bunch of ornaments here. These beautiful clear ornaments that I had mentioned earlier. They have those uh, wine glasses that were clear to kind of go along with a lot of these clear ornaments that I've been finding. And this is a beautiful unicorn. Look at how the, when the light hits it, all the rainbow and translucent opalescence again, whatever that, whatever you would call that, it makes it look so nice. And then I got some ornaments here again to hang from gifts to make them just, it's amazing how, of course you can put these on the tree, but if you just use these and hang them from gifts or pop them in a gift basket. It just brings your gift to a whole festive holiday type of thing. So their uh, ornaments are easy to do that with. And it's also a gift once they, you know, you put it on the gift as a gift uh, tag, if you will. And then you, they can use it as a gift after they open it up. They have these beautiful ballerina girls that came in three or four different poses. So she's like that. And I think I got them all, let's see. They have these cute little solar light bulbs. If you watch my gift ideas for guys, I use these just to kind of decorate that little um, background a little. And they were fun and festive, just brought a holiday touch to that video as well. So here's a yellow one, here's a green one. And then there's solar, here's the solar part at the top. And then they have this nice hanger, so you can hang it somewhere outside on around a tree or on your porch or wherever you so desire. Here's another ornament. I got the glitter with the pearls because I think they uh, would upgrade any gift that you would use them for or if you wanted more of a glam look for your Christmas decor, these definitely fit the mold. Now this, um, I don't know if the colors are coming across, uh, but this is gold. One is more like a silver champagne and one is more gold. So I think you can see the difference when I do them side by side like that. I got the two stars and then they have this white one that there's the silver champagne one. I didn't, I don't think I got that in gold and round. So I just got the two round ones like this. And then the 
I got a white star. And then, oops, I only got one Christmas tree. Look at these beautiful acrylic wings. Now, you know they've had wings in the past, so now they made them clear to go along with all the other shiny acrylic ornaments this year. So this was the new introduction, uh, the new look. I think it came more this year in these ornaments than it did in um, the toys. I feel like the toys this year were very limited. Um, I did get another Christmas tree, by the way. I got the white one. So I got the white and the gold and the Christmas tree, but I did not get a champagne Christmas tree. Or at least I don't think I did. I'm still going through stuff, so I could be wrong. Here's another ballerina with another pose. And first pose is here. So those are the two different ones. You see this little lint stuff is flying around though, so gotta be careful with that. Seems to be getting everywhere. And these are fragile, that's the only thing. You have to be careful with them. Here's a blue bulb to go with the yellow, green, and red ones. So these are the four, the four colors that they had. And I thought these were really fun, especially since they are solar. You don't have to put any batteries in them. Hopefully they will stand the test of time or at least last through a holiday season. And then I did break down and get a pair of these elf feet. This is one, yeah. So these elf feet, I got one. They had a red version and a green version. I think this was the red one. Here's a bucket. Believe in the magic of Christmas. I don't know if I showed this yet, but if I haven't, I got this bucket to use, which is holding all those ornaments for me. I found another cute little stocking, and this one was recently put out. This is like, to me, like a baby's first Christmas type of stocking. And it's got the cute little lamb. That's what it looks like in the back, just plain white. And it also kind of, to me, this reminds me of kind of like a Spanish little pom-pom. Um, what's that area? Peru, kind of like a Peruvian kind of a look to it but also a baby's first Christmas look as well. Um, when I saw this and I got it and I had to go back to that store because I was in the area, I didn't have to, but I did and they were sold out just like that. So I'm glad I found the one. And then every year I always do a gift basket idea with knitting, uh, a knitting book and some knitting uh, accessory, but I never have the knitting needles. So I said, you know what, since they have them out, let me go ahead and get some needles. So that way, when I do another gift idea basket, I can include the knitting needles. So that's why I got those. And these are three different sizes and you can see the sizes here at the bottom where it tells you what they are. If you look at the bottom, that's how you know what sizes they are because apparently each knitting project has or requires a different size needle and I don't know if these oops these plastic ones are any good so if you're a knitter out there I think Tony you are if those are any good let me know if not then let me know that too uh, this one was a great item to find this craft picker if you have a Cricut machine I know everybody's doing all this vinyl stuff with the Cricut machine um, I don't have a Cricut machine, the new one, but I do have the old school expressions too. And definitely these are, will come in handy for that, just for the paper, picking the paper off of the sticky. Uh, here's another craft item, a DIY ornament kit. And it's creating this cute little penguin and you get uh, six of them, I mean five of them. So you have enough in here to make five little penguins. So if you're babysitting someone's kids or you know you're gonna have a few kids at your house, you might wanna pick up some of these little craft kits to keep them busy. This is a felt sticker kit that has eight pieces. Again, good for crafting. This is a great time to get items and stock up your craft room if you're a crafter. So that's what a lot of this is for me. Um, this is also a DIY ornament kit for gingerbread. And that's what the little gingerbread guy looks like right there. 
and it's for a set of five to create five of them. And then that's what it looks like. It has five little felt. It's all felt. And I'm guessing you just glue these together. I'm sure they're simple because they're, you know, geared for children, so they can't be too difficult. Here's a nine piece felt sticker set that's in the shape of different ornaments. Um, so you get nine of them. I imagine it's probably, I don't know, it could be nine different designs in total, but those are good to have for crafting. Here is another five piece ornament kit. It is a snowman. Again, all of the pieces that you need. Okay. And then the last five piece ornament kit is a Santa. And this one looks fun and festive. Look at the striped hat. Gives you all the pieces to do that. So they have some great items to really keep kids occupied this year and not bored, especially when they go on a winter break. Now, this is the first time I purchased the baskets because, you know, doing my gift ideas videos, I wanted to have some other options of containers to use, but I try to stay away from baskets. But every now and then they're good to use. Uh, again, I like to think outside the box, but it doesn't hurt to have a basket. And I like these two things because this one screams Santa and this one screams Santa's elf. So I thought it wouldn't hurt in a crunch you know bake some cookies baskets are good for home baked goods i think i would use them more for that now i found some of these nice uh placemats and they had about four different designs this was the first one and i got these because i want to make pillows with them you know the old standard get some hot glue and just glue i got two of each so I want to glue these together. The back of this one is green. Um, I better not pull that, but it's green on the back. And then this is the pattern on the front for this first one. And the other pattern, I thought this one was really nice also. I really like this one because it's lighter. And it's this one right here. Isn't that nice? And then the back of this one is just more like a linen white linen type of color, ivory off-white. I really like that one as well. And then the last one that I got was also another plaid design, which is this one. And I believe the back of this one, is it also green? Where's that blue? Let me see something. Yeah, it's also green. This ring light really messes up. <laughs> makes the colors kind of hard to decipher sometimes but yeah that's also green so here are the three different patterns I'll put them together so you can see which three I got try to anyways and there are these the same oh you know what I'm tripping these are the same that's funny I got four, so I wanted to make two pillows out of this one and then one pillow out of this one. I thought I got three different styles. Okay, so I stand corrected. So it was green on the back. All right, let's round this off with some Christmas boxes and I'll be right back to show them to you. So the first one I have is this one. These, all of these are my favorites, but these are one of my favorite favorites because they come with a ribbon already and it just looks like a nice gift. And this is the gnome theme. It's just gold on the inside, but it's that uh, design all around. And I think this is just so, These all of these tins, I, there's very few of them that I see that I don't like. But that was the first one that I got. And then this is a nice um, plaid design. I guess that's plaid with a white ribbon. I just really like how these are. And they're a good size. I always. You know, they come in sets of three, and I always get the large ones. I always get, to me, the most bang for my buck. I never buy uh, the little ones. Very, very rarely do I buy the little ones, I'll put it that way. I think the bigger ones are the best deal. And look at this nice gingerbread one. This is a new one, a new design for this year for me. All of these are. I don't think I have any of these um, from prior years, which is why I bought these. 
And then the last one in this style is this one with the sayings all around. And of course, again, it is gold on the inside, the red ribbon on the top. These are just so nice and I just love getting these. You can, these are great keepsakes that can be reused over and over again. And that's the great thing about tins. It's a gift in itself. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Now, I also got these boxes. These I don't like as much, but um, it's still nice. And it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. This one I think was the biggest one in the set. I'm hoping it was. I couldn't find any that was bigger than this. So either they downsized or I was just a little late to the party this year, but it wasn't the smallest. So in this style, I got that one. Actually, as I say that, this is the bigger size. So just to put it in perspective, I would have gotten this one in this size had I seen it. So, but see how much bigger, how much more room you get. So this is the other style that I got. And this is known for the holidays, the most common theme that everybody's being suckered into these gnomes. And these, they all apparently are gold on the inside. on the inside same thing but a different shape I thought this was fun I love Christmas because Christmas trees sugar cookies snowflakes and presents I thought that was fun something this would be a great one to use to give something to a child some socks a toy you know anything anything small and cute and fun and here's another gnome can what does that say? Christmas with my gnomies. And this is what it looks like around the edge. So I got suckered into three gnome designs this year. This one, I realized after I bought it, I like this little irregular ribbon around the edge. I realized that I already had this design. And not only did I buy this one, but I got the small one inside. So these are the two sizes, uh, gold on the inside. Now let me put them side by side again. So there was only two size variations. So, but it's, it's uh, candy cane kisses and Christmas wishes. So this one, the color scheme, the red and white Christmas tree, it's a timeless design that will never go out of style. Gnomes might not last or stand the test of time like that one, but red and white, you can't go wrong for Christmas. These are also my favorites, the see-through kind. And inside of this one, so you got the clear lid and the lid. And here's another one of those. Well, first of all, here's the bottom of this one and the lid. I like these because they're like shadow box gifts. And when you put something in there that's really um, color coordinated or just it's a nice looking item that goes with the design of the tin, it really makes a great presentation. I've used these in a gift ideas video as well. And I really like the Christmas bulbs around the, the uh, outside. And this one was on the inside, which was the same as I had before. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but a different shape. So that's what came on the inside of this one. And then this last tin is this nice peppermint. Let's open this one. Oh, let me just give you the visual first. The peppermint. Again, this goes along the lines of red and white. Peppermint for Christmas. Never going to go out of style. You can pull this out in a year and still be in style with Christmas. Unless they change Christmas colors to pink and blue, you can't go wrong with red and white. So that one, same thing, you get something that's color coded, presented, cookies, candy, anything. But the see-through shadow box element is uh, a bonus on that box. And then the one that came inside of that one is this little snowman and Santa Claus. This is something I would definitely use to give to a child because like I say, I'm not really into the Santa Claus stuff. I'll buy it here and there, but not really my thing. Not Santa. Uh, 
Um, and then lastly, these are my other favorite boxes that I like to buy and I look forward to every year because I think they're such a great, great bargain. And it's these big bottle boxes. I say bottle boxes, but you can put anything in here. It's the most wonderful time of the year and then Joy, look at how nice that Joy is. And then the green, just the color scheme. It's a nice green color scheme. And then it says, is that peace? Yeah, it says peace on top inside of a wreath. What did they describe this as? It just says gift box. So yeah, you could use it for anything. You stack a lot of stuff in here also. And it just makes for a nice presentation and it's red on the inside. So these I think are great seals if you can buy these boxes. Here's the other style that I bought. Again, there's the snowman, but it had Santa. So this would be a great one to use for a kid. And then there's the peppermint stripe lid. And at the top, what does this say? Tis the season for fun and festivities. Tis the season for fun and festivities. So there's that one. The next one was this one. Of course, everything is going to have Santa on it now, just because I said that. But this reminds me of the story, Twas the Night Before Christmas, when Santa's ho, 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 Merry Christmas. That's what this box feels like to me. It's that scene. And I like the dark blue for the dark night sky with the moon and then the snowflake border at the top with the snow Christmas trees. And then this says, Making Spirits Bright. So I thought this is a nice one. This is one of my favorites, surprisingly, because of what I just said. But the Santa part, if it was a snowman and a sleigh instead of Santa, I would take that. <laughs> so anyways, the next one, now this one is more along the eat, drink, and be merry. It's a neutral. You can give this to an adult, to a family. Um, it doesn't have to be Christmas or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah. It's just eat, drink, and be merry. It is the season. So I really like to get items that are general like that. And then it's just clear on the top. And they all are red on the inside as well. And then the very last one that I got is this one here that says merry and bright. Another neutral um, festive plaid at the top, red poinsettia at the top, just simply merry and bright. Poinsettias, merry and bright. Green at the bottom, red on the inside. So these are nice. I get these every year if I could find them. Now, they also do have size variations here as well. I don't know if you can tell the difference here, but one's a little bigger. The one smaller. I always, if I can find, if I can get there early enough to get the bigger ones, and that's the ones that I go for first. So these two were the ones that I got in the smaller ones this year, but the other three are the larger sizes. So that's it on my tins and my gift boxes. The last thing I want to show you, and then I'm going to end this haul, are the toys because I know um, they didn't have very many good toys this year. So let me show you the few items that I did find that I thought were worthy to share. Okay, let's close this out for real with these toys because I want you to see what's out there in case you guys are wondering because I felt like the toy selection this year was very minimum and the stuff that they brought back were not exciting. And the new items were cool, but they just didn't, I felt like they didn't have a lot this year. I haven't seen a lot come out like in, uh, uh, past year so let me know if you guys are feeling the same thing and I also wanted to say about the gift tins the gift tins I like to get the tins more so than the gift bags because they of course last longer they're reusable and um, when you're first putting up your Christmas tree and you don't have any gifts yet but you want it to look like you have gifts they're perfect for that, especially the ones with the bows. Okay, let me show you these toys that I thought were worth mentioning, all this glitter and everything. Um, so the first one is this little kitchen set, the kitchen fruit set, kitchen play set. 
So it has a little cutting board and the little fruit that Velcros together and a knife so that they can learn how to cut fruit. And they had several of these. This is the pineapple and the apple with the knife and the cutting board. And then they also had the banana and the strawberry. Pink cutting board, same color knife. They had the pineapple and a tomato with a blue cutting board and a knife. And then the last one they had was this carrot and some broccoli with a pink knife and a blue cutting board. And then to go along with this, and I thought these were fun because I've seen these in the past um, for kids that were much more expensive than a dollar. Cause did I, yeah, I got all these for $1.25. I could have got them for a dollar, but in the 11th hour, I decided to buy them too late, but you know, a quarter, no big deal. But they also had this little kitchen stove set with the, the fork, the spoon, this looks like a salt and pepper shaker and a frying pan with the lid. So the fry, frying pan has a lid, there's a stove top. I guess that's a salt shaker, a pepper shaker, and then the spoon in the bowl. So all these I thought were great to, um, to purchase for a little girl or a little boy who might like to cook, who likes to help out in the kitchen. To me, these were fun, they're colorful, they're somewhat educational, teaches them how to cut fruit, prepare food, that type of thing. So I thought those were worth uh, mentioning. And then they had some Hot Wheels Munster trucks that this was new. I haven't seen these before. It's normally the cars. So they had four styles and this was the first one. Um, the name is here on the side. So this says Bone Shaker. And then the second one says Roger Dodger. And this is what this one looks like. It's blue. The third one is called Mega Rex, and it looks like a dinosaur. And then the fourth one is a Lava Shark. So that's a shark. Okay, so that was something new and different that I hadn't seen in prior years. If you've seen them, I haven't. So. That's why I got those. And then they had these little novelty balls. And these aren't so much for Christmas, but you know, when I saw this, I wanted to get this and keep it in my car. So when somebody pisses me off on the road, I could just hold this ball up and show like I'm irritated with you. I thought that would be funny to see people's reaction just to show the ball but people are crazy today so i don't know if i would really do that but wouldn't that be a fun idea um this was something that i hadn't seen i don't know if this this was probably out for halloween maybe i've never seen it but the mandalorian and grogu baby yoda all that was popular so i don't know if this came out this year or last year but i thought this would be great to have to give to a little boy the Mandalorian was a very popular series. Star Wars was a very popular series. But The Mandalorian really brought that back. Now this I use in a gift basket idea. It is a whoopee cushion and it looks like ish. These are always fun to have. I used it uh, in a fun gift in my uh, gift ideas video. And then they had these board games that I know a lot of people have been uh, showing to you guys Candyland and let me just show you the back of what the game looks like obviously in this little thin box it's not going to be a full size board and all of that but it's a thin version with a little uh, kind of more like paper pieces I guess the classic picture toy that sticks like magic so it's a great gift for kids if you're traveling or something and you don't want to carry a big bulky game. I mean, that would be great for it. The original Monopoly, can't go wrong with Monopoly. But you see how the back, like how it's like a little paper. So I don't know if they stick or if they're plastic, but it's definitely not like a, a real heavy weight game. It's something maybe if you're traveling or something, 
and you just want to have some things to take but not take big bulky items. So they also had Sorry, the game of Sorry. I never played this game as a kid. So I don't know if this one's good or not. I got I was able to get all these for a dollar before I went to a buck twenty-five. They have trouble, the game trouble. And this is what the pieces look like here on this one. And they had shoots and ladders, all the traditional games that normally go on sale at Target, but a smaller, more temporary, portable version of those games. Lightweight, nothing heavy, nothing too substantial. And then the old standard memory game, for the most part, or guess who? Kind of like a memory game, maybe. I don't know if I've ever played this one, but this one looks fun. Um, so that's what that looks like. And then the last one they had, which this is one that I played all the time, is Battleship. Who sank my Battleship? This is a good game, so I'm curious to see. I guess it looks like this, just thin pieces of paper that fold up um, with the same little paper things that must stick on there. I haven't opened any of them yet, so I can't tell you exactly what the items are made out of. Let me just pull this basket over here and close this out with some bubble popper. So they have these little bubble popper games. And this is, what shape is this? I don't know what to call that shape. Is that an owl maybe? I don't know what that is. But it's a bubble popper toy and it's a small little portable one. Instead of taking the big one again if you're traveling or something and you just want something compact. There's a green one. They had several of these, several colors, several shapes. Um, so there's a green heart shape. Can you see the heart? Hopefully you can see the heart shape in that one. And then there's a blue t-shirt. And I'm sure it came, all of these shapes came in different colors. These are just the ones that I got. Um, I just got one of each color to show you in one of each shape. So to show you the different colors and the different shapes. So here's a pink square. That says something in the light. 18121448. I wonder what that means. Um, this one is like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's not an octagon, but it's a seven-a-gon. <laughs> Whatever, a seven thing. Seven sides, I think that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven sides, but this is a green one. A seven a gun. And then this is a red one in that same weird shape that I started with, but it was in purple. So again, I don't know, maybe it's a, just a paint swatch or something, but, and then are there any more in here? Yep, one more, a yellow pineapple. Okay, and I think that's it on these. So a yellow pineapple. And then we had this cute little toy. I think this came in red and blue. It's a car remote rattle for baby. Oh, so you can, it makes noise. One starts the car and one locks the car. It gives you the sound of that. So that would be great for someone who just had a little baby. And then we're gonna close it out with a lot of this Barbie stuff. I did a little Barbie short that showed all of these little backpacks. And I don't know, Barbie Chelsea. I'm not really hip on who Chelsea is, but this is a Chel Barbie Chelsea backpack that has different accessories. And then here's another one with different the accessories there. Here's a third Barbie backpack with some more little accessories. And any more backpacks in here? No. And then we're gonna move on to Barbie's Dreamtopia Sparkle Cake Unicorn. So that's what this looks like. And then we have a Lollipop Unicorn. And that's what this one looks like. Uh, let's see, one more unicorn, 
And this one is ice cream unicorn. That would be for me, except for I've kicked the ice cream habit. I'm not very happy about it, but I did it. Um, then we've got more Dreamtopia Barbie items, and these are fairy accessories, is what they say on the side, fairy accessories. And these are these fancy looking, prostitute looking shoes, I guess. <laughs> Do fairies dress like this? I don't know what kind of fairies are in Barbie land, but here's another pair of shoes that give you a pink one versus a purple one and everything else is the same. They should have changed the color of those shoes. Should have made those pink as well. And then they had this uh, Dreamtopia, what is this called? Princess Tea Party accessories. So they have that. These are all new. You got the cake, the teacups, and the tea kettle on the tray. So that's cute. Great uh, deal, I think, for a buck. And then they had, oh, and then they had that in two different, so let's see, two different colors. Uh, well, the only thing different, again, is the teapots. What a rip. They could have changed more colors. But yeah, so two different teapots on that. And then the last two items, and we'll be done, are these. Dreamtopia princess accessories. So I'll just show you these last two. Similar but different. Same items, different colors. So those are all the toys that I thought were worth mentioning this year because again, I feel like they didn't have a good selection of uh, especially name brand type toys. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. I think these were some good ones, which is why I wanted to show them to you. So if you guys are out there trying to, you know, in my opinion, find out what some good toys are at the Dollar Tree this year, this is, these are my picks. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this super long video. I have so much more to uh, haul for you guys. I'm going to try and find time this weekend and get all that stuff done and get caught up on my hauls and see if I can possibly get some more gift idea videos out, but I'm not gonna kill myself to do so because time is moving quick and you know, I don't have a lot of it. So thanks so much for watching. You guys have a happy holiday season. Don't forget to uh, watch my win one Wednesday videos and win some gifts. Um, I love to give back and give you guys stuff for supporting my channel and I plan to do that every Wednesday and every Wednesday when I get winners who follow the rules then they win something you know they are eligible to win and I pick from that pool so if only one person does it right only one person's gonna win so make sure the videos are only three four minutes it gives you all the details on how to play the game and if you do the two steps properly then I'll put you in the pool to win a gift but that's every Wednesday as long as I'm making videos every Wednesday I'm gonna do a win one Wednesday because I'm giving stuff back to you guys for supporting me because without you there is no me and I'll never forget that so on that note give this video a thumbs up hit the like button subscribe and I'll see you soon bye bye